Recently I've been watching classic Australian television adverts and on those videos people were telling me to check out the Australia Day lamb adverts. I believe there's quite a lot of them. I'm going to watch a lot of them today. I think there's nine of them starting here in 2014. I think one year might be missing but I'm going to try and go through all of them. See what they're like, see how they progress, see how they're different. Tell me what you think about these ads, what's your favourite one and why. Let's check out, this is 2014 first. My fellow Australians, after 10 years as Lambassador fighting on Australianism, I'm taking a step back. After all, I don't want to linger on like a skivvy wearing children's entertainer. So now you must educate the new generation about the perils of a lambless life. Teaching a tot to love lamb is the most pressing duty of every Aussie parent, like you sir. <laughs> if you don't have sprogs of your own, then teach someone else's how it's done. <laughs> because we Vegan. want these little cherubs to grow big and strong to fight out Australianism. Tofu? <laughs> <laughs> if we'd argued less about Gonski and talk more about Chopsky, our nation's future would look much brighter. Don't be un Australian. Teach those little angle biters to be chop munchers. Barbecue lamb on Australia Day and show them how it's done. <laughs> you know it makes sense? I'm Sam Kekovich. <laughs> that was great. I really love the actor here, man. He really uh, threw himself into that role, took it so seriously. Actually, for like a one minute video, it was very well produced, man, with that big baby. Like, had like very cinematic uh, appeal to it. Uh, and yeah, great message. I love the humour with the, like giving the the vegan kid a, like a lamb chop, man. Like, tell me what what you liked about that one. I, I quite enjoyed that. A good start. Uh, Twenty fifteen next. Let's check it out. See how it differs. Okay, dramatic. I love it. I love it. my glass. Richie. Cookie, where are you? I uh, don't know. What's up? Can you make an Australia Day barbie at my place? Bit of cricket, couple of lamb chops. You in? Yeah, all right. I love those cutlets. Yeah, is Bert coming? Barbecue. Yeah, I'm keen. Wills? Yeah, keen. He's keen. Sounds lovely, Richie. I'll round up the gun. Hey, stop! Shut up! I'm on the board! Stop! in touch with Bradman. No answer. Typical. A Barbie, Richie. I'd love to. Brilliant. I'll make the lemmings. Two for 22. One sec, Ida. Australia Day Barbie at your joint, I hear. Nope. I'm busy, Richie. Oh, come on, <laughs> Sam. All right, I'm in. You know what I'm bringing? And it's not tofu. <laughs> so everyone's in? Yeah, so. Two right. Sweet. Sweet. Affirmative. Fantastic. Hang on, hang on. Ned, haven't you gone veg, That's a shame. No, I'm gluten intolerant. It's not even a real thing. It is a real thing. It's in me family. Me mother had it, me father had it, no You're delusional, it. Ned. <laughs> I'm not a veg, I like lamb. Marvellous. Lamb's on. We're going to need some ice. Why don't you bring ice? You never bring anything. Barbecue, Richie! <laughs> Spin this bad boy around. So, like, is Australia Day, is that, like, a day everybody has barbecues then? Uh, tell me that, but, yeah, that one was even higher production value. I, I think it's, like, showing maybe historic figures from Australia's past. I think that was Ned Kelly, if I'm right. Uh, but interesting concept again. Very funny. I'm liking what I'm liking about these ads so far is the production value is very high, but... It, has that humour like interlaced through it as well, and obviously the message is all about lamb, which is all good. I didn't know Australians love lamb so much. Uh, next we've got 2016, man. Uh, this looks ominous here, man. This is like is looking post-apocalyptic, but let's see how it goes. Warsaw winter, war six, okay. minus seventeen, and not a char grill chop in sight that was no way to spend australia day <laughs> we'll never let that happen to another australian again commence operation boomerang right now there's thousands the 
Australians. Stranded overseas. The snowball's chance in hell of eating lamb on Australia Day. Let's go and get them. My finger's <laughs> warm. That's bad. Let's go. <laughs> warm beer. Jeez. We're bringing you home for Australia Day. Three months. It's time to go home. <laughs> oh, mate. A few hours, you'll be eating lamb on the beach. But I'm a vegan now. Abort. Get him out of there. Abort. <laughs> Vegans. <laughs> <laughs> I like the. Oh, he's a cricketer, is he? No, I'm retired from backyard cricket. Gary, get out of the pool. Prime Minister, the barbecue is lit. Well done. Well done. Never. <laughs> okay, man. I think these are getting better and better, man. Everything about it. I feel like the budget is definitely getting bigger for these ads as well. That one was almost like an action movie, but I love the concept again, man. Rescuing Australians. Stranded abroad, get them home for lamb. Uh, fantastic stuff, man. Really, like, I, I don't know some of the people I knew that cricketer, but maybe they're like prominent Australians. What about that one with the Copenhagen? Was it the Queen of Denmark or something? Is she somehow Australian or related to Australian? Uh, someone Australian, but that was probably my favorite. The, the best concept so far, man. So funny. Okay, next we've got 2017. First air. Hey, what do you reckon? Reckon spot. Fly up the barbie. That looks you good. Know coming? Oh, a beautiful spot like this, it'll be packed before you know it. Oh, here we go. Did you organise the chips and dips? Yeah. <laughs> Great spot. Oh, thank you. How long have you guys been here? Since forever, man. Okay, okay. Indigenous people. <laughs> hey, where are you all from? We, sir, are from Great Britannia. We are the first fleet. Yeah, not quite, mate. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> oh, my God, it's the French. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh, at least they brought their own. Who's bringing the ice? How many bags do we need, Dougie? Keep shipping, shackles. It's going to be big. <laughs> oh, My charge rod. Oh, where'd you get those? This week. What's this? The 16th First Fleet. Oi, it's the Italians, the Greeks, and the Serbians? Hey mate, do you know where the backyard is? What about 4,000 k's of it out here? Need a wicket? Trust me, we need one of these around 2 a.m. Chili sauce? You did. Remember to let the neighbours know, right? Yeah. Mm. Choice barbecue, eh, Bray? Hey, where should we put the chili bit? I couldn't keep them away. Should we crack a vegan joke? What's the occasion? Do we need one? Look, it's a boat, people! Hang on. Aren't we all boat people? And you're welcome. What is that? Look, it's the float people! <laughs> Hello, Dale. Hi, guys. Thanks for having us, guys. Great spot for a barbie. Best in the world. Okay, man, that was, I mean, these are just getting better and better, man. Like, I mean, I've got to say, great use of the music there, man. That is an absolutely classic song, but 
I feel like the story of that was like the indigenous people, the First Nations people of Australia, just welcoming all these people to their land and just everybody having a good time, being so friendly, uh, everybody really celebrating uh, Australia Day. I love the thing that is going through all these videos so far is the anti-vegan uh, mindset, which I'm all for, man. Get stuck into the lamb, it looks good. Uh, but yeah, bringing all these nationalities together just to celebrate Australia Day. The people of Australia all come from all these different countries at one time or another. Uh, yeah, fantastic, fantastic advert, man. Love that. Uh, next we've got 2018. It's the extreme left and right wing commentators represented as Broadway musical star Street Gangs. The satirical commentary on our current divided political climate. What? Just go inside! Right! Left! Right! Left! Fight! If you're a right, you are right. About every single issue, the left can go and cry. Throw them a tissue. You tell them that in. If you're a left, you stick up for the little guy. I mean, person. We're all equal, no one left behind. If you're a right, you think equal rights are wrong. It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Well, I'm Steve, and I lean right. Let's go, Adam. <laughs> You're thinking it's so 1950s era, all you care about is the war on terror. Um, how about this beautiful weather? Global warming's a lie. It's BS that we won't buy. The ice caps are melting, the seas are rising. We find your ignorance very surprising. Stop with your constant political correctness. Now we can't even celebrate Christmas. Well, I'm too scared to cause offense. That's why I'm sitting on the bench. Get off my bench! <laughs> right, left, right, left, right, left! Stop! We're being ridiculous. These issues are serious. But this outrage has gone too far. And the lamb is ready. Whether you're left or right, there's no right or wrong, no reason we can't all get along. And remember, we live in this great country with beaches and budgies and land armies. Soon she's right, we've no reasons to fight. Pass me that plate, give me a fight. See, we can all agree on something. Because I never, we never, we never. Okay, man, yeah, Australians really love lamb. With regards to that advert, uh, I don't know, man. For me, it doesn't really live up to the previous four, to be honest. I feel like I'm just not a musical fan. Like, I just, I have no interest in watching musicals. With regards to, like, the political thing, I, I don't really like how politics invades so many different things. And, yeah, I mean, this is kind of taking the piss out of it, which I, I can appreciate that. Uh... But I don't know, man, like, the politics interests me, the political divide just has no no interest to me, man, like, the right and left wing, I just, I, it just bores me, like, people who are on, like, each of the, each of the sides, and just that whole narrative, man, uh, so, yeah, for me, that's not my favourite, but, again, good, good production value in that one, and, yeah, I mean, if you like that sort of thing, but, okay, 2019. Now, to section six of the Constitution. The states will be all these ones, this little one here, and New Zealand. They just need to accept our offer. Which, of course, they will. We used to be the greatest country on Earth, but we've lost the plot. Cheating at sport, can't even hang on to a Prime Minister. There's only one obvious solution, don't you think? I agree. What are you thinking? We finally make New Zealand part of us. Genius. We create one nation. We'll workshop another name. Wait, they hate us. Still haven't forgiven us for the whole <laughs> underarm thing. I mean, how are we ever going to convince them? 
<laughs> Why, Australia solves everything, Gary. Lan and a Hemsworth. I don't think we can afford one of them. Just lamb, then. How about lamb? <laughs> oh, that smells good, eh? That is the smell of unity, my Antipodean friends. Well, where did you come from? Australia. And we've got a proposition for you. As we all know, <laughs> Australia is the greatest it's country in the world. But frankly, right now, New Zealand is doing Australia better than Australia. So we propose we unite to create New Australia. <laughs> Names a bit stink. Lind. <laughs> New Australia Lind. Oh, that smells good, eh? Sure, we got a rivalry that dates back to old Zealand. That's not a place. That, that's not a place. But think about it. <laughs> We've got awesome stuff. You've got awesome stuff. And most of our awesome stuff is already yours. We could even have a new Australia day. On a date we can all agree on. Yeah! Finally! Best of all, you get to share our prime land. And we can share your prime minister. Seems like a fair trade agreement. So what do you say? We bridge the ditch and do this. I guess we better check what you're under first. Sure. Uh, do you have a number? Oh, yeah. It's uh, 04. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Tell her to come <laughs> join the party! <laughs> Standing by. Yeah, I like that one, but that that one I have an interest. A few, there's a few certain, a, a few little touches in that that were interesting. Obviously, playing on that the relationship between Australia and New Zealand. That's something that I definitely have more interest in that than left and right wing. But uh, yeah, the start of it going back to when Australia asked New Zealand to be part of Australia, uh, but they never. They never did. I like the touch there with the the picture frame changing every so often. That may be like the change of Prime Minister, I guess. Uh, something like that. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed that. That was a return to form for me. Uh, tell me what you thought about that one as well. Uh, next we've got 2020. Looks like Mia is having an amazing holiday. Oh, Mia? <laughs> this is so random. We were just talking about you. It's like your friend's listening to you. Oh, what's listening to you? The Lamalytica algorithm scrapes the data of the entire country, then hacks people's devices to actually bring them together face to face. The science has proven it's Australia's only hope. Is that legal? Mm -hmm. I'm a scientist, I'm a lawyer. Chief, get some stage five scrollers. Deploy the wedding video. Deploy wedding video! Oh. You changed your hair. I went blonde three years ago. That looks beautiful. Should we get out of here? I was, I was just about to like a really empowering social post. How are we going to be <laughs> inspirational now? The algorithm is working. I get it. You're using cookies to bring everyone together. No, Sebastian. You're using a lamb. How good is chatting with your meow? I thought we'd never hear your voice again. Chatting with your mouth. So this is called Lambalytica, so I don't know if this is a play on like the Cambridge Analytica scandal, which showed that Facebook was like spying on users and things like that so very i mean this would have been like very uh trending at the time very uh yeah very of its time but i really i i really like this one also good I, again the production value very high almost movie like this is like if this was a tv show i would watch it uh but yeah another interesting way i like how this has been so many years and really like every year they've been able to come up with like a really unique concept as well while still keeping it fresh uh, over such a long period of time so really like that one as well next we've got 2021 new south wall <laughs> today marks 10 years since our once united nation was divided by the great state walls as tensions continue to escalate the and Donald increasing Trump number influence. of Victorians have applied for weather asylum in the Northern Territory while Queensland stands <clears throat> What's on the other side, Mummy? 
They're called Queenslanders. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good stuff. They're called Queenslanders. <laughs> Stanley in Marvel movies just always popping up. So, this is Julio. See? I told you they were different. WA, you made it! Yeah! Sorry for trying to become our own country. Again. Even the Tasmanians have arrived. Where are the, the rest of jackets. You? This is all of us. Four people. We did it! The United States of Australia. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Australia. We should celebrate this day every year. What have I missed? Who is that? Yeah, again, again, another great concept. That one is like another one that's like, that could be an episode of Black Mirror, some like future dystopia. Uh, a great idea, man. Obviously, I think they're probably taking that from like the Donald Trump, Trump build a wall uh, between the USA and Mexico. The idea of building one like along state lines in Australia is quite something. I uh, love the little touches with regards to like Queensland and Tasmania there. Very, very funny. Uh, but Lamb bringing everybody together. Like really, again, another great concept, man. Uh, next we've got, I couldn't find one for 2022. So if you know one, uh, if you could just put the link in the comments or tell me what it is. But this is this year's one, I believe. Yes, I'm the best. Congratulations, Gerald. But unfortunately, boasting is un-Australian. <laughs> Dorothy. He stole my recipe. Dobbing is also very un-Australian. Dobbing. Hey, lady, you're un-Australian. <laughs> Cheat stick, un-Australian. <laughs> What's the deal with people in Australia? Did they just... There's a word. Is that kombucha an Australian? The worst thing you can ever call an Australian. Where do they go? Oh, just an infinite cultural exile from which they can never return. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's getting a little out of hand. We no one left soon. Ruby, can you turn that up? <laughs> Subtitles? Un Australian! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Right. Well, no, I can't get a drink. So bloody pub is un Australian. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. Don't say it. One crock. What are you here for? Tried to eat a meat pie with these. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know the words to K-San. Charged him a dollar for tomato sauce. <coughs> what is this? Where am I? <coughs> oh, yes. How's that on a strap? All I said was, bon appetit. Bon appetit is not a shoe. Beautiful day. Lamb. Doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> nice. Well, that was an unexpected escalation. <laughs> <laughs> it's zero alcohol. Still free beer, though. Bludging is un-Australian. It's lazy, not un-Australian. Yes, it is. No, it's not. 
Where did you get that? The Exile Barbecue. Everyone's there, mate. There's a lamb barbecue happening in Exile? Go to the All Blacks! I'm a weak swimmer. Peter <laughs> doesn't belong in a burger. I'm <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, this is so good. Looks like we're all a bit un Australian. Guess that's what makes us Australian. How do we get that? Why would you want to? Yeah, why would you want to? That was absolutely epic, man. What I, I really, man, those were just getting better and better. I had some favourites throughout, but that was a really great one. I love all of them. The production value, I, I, people, I seen people mention it in the comments of the previous videos, but I wasn't sure what to expect. I just thought like lamb ads, but they are some of the best adverts I've ever seen for any product anywhere. I uh, really enjoyed all of them. Tell me what your favorite year was and why. Tell me if you didn't like any of them for any reason. Yeah, go eat some lamb. Thanks.